Good morning everyone and welcome to our subject, to our class, Art Appreciation. We are now on the module 4, under week 2 still, and our topic for today is the Filipino concept of art. And of course, we have the learning outcomes. We have to discover the Filipino identity through the arts. And we have to apply the Filipino sense of art in the appreciation of art. We have the references, the readings, and the videos to watch. Only in the Philippines. This is an expression of pride in what we feel, our activities, attitudes, and aspirations that are uniquely Filipino. Yet, this is also an expression of frustration and exasperation about systems and situations that we know are corrupt, unjust, or simply not good enough. In today's lesson, we will discover the two sides of the same coin. Both are necessary elements to motivate us in steering our nation into a brighter, peaceful, and just future. Okay, then we have uh, just uh, read it by yourself. Okay. Okay, now let's begin. Um, on the Western concept of art, okay, on the Western concept of art, um, we have the three, three categories. We have the academic, elitist, and hierarchical. Now when we say academic, only schooled people are artists. Again, when we say academic, only schooled people are artists. What do we mean? No unang panahon, no, ito yung konsepto ng mga Western people. Pag ikaw ay nag-aaral, ikaw ay tinaguri ang artist. Pag ikaw ay nag-aaral sa school, ikaw ay isang artist. But when we say elitist, of course, these are meant for the higher social class. Oh, kahit naman sa atin sa panahon natin ngayon, we have elitista. No? These are meant for the higher social class. Mga mayayaman, mga elitista. Hierarchical. Yes, it is hierarchy through the, through the word hierarchy. Okay, so again, we have the, the high, the major art, and the fine art. Versus the low art, the craft, practical art, folk, or indigenous art. We we'll say uh, mga major art, no? These are fine arts. Okay, we have fine arts. That's why uh, we have a subject, fine art, okay, in UP Diliman. Okay. Um, yun yung mga classification, no, yun yung hierarchy ng uh, high or major art. Okay. But when we say low art, ito naman yung kanya mga categories. No, craft, practical art, folk, indigenous. Yan yung mga gawa natin sa yung mga um, carpentry. Okay? Yung mga carpentry, yung mga gawa ng mga netibo. Those are indigenous arts. So, they belong to the low art. Okay? Sa mga craft. When we say Filipino concept of art, um, it has no such western distinctions. Okay, parang sabi ko sa inyo kanina, walang pagkakaiba sa Western. Okay, walang pagkakaiba sa Western. Let's have examples of renowned Filipino artists. Let's begin with Damian Domingo. Okay, sino nga ba si Damian Domingo? Okay, uh, Damian Domingo, he is the father of the Philippine painting. Okay. Uh, by the way, you have the videos to watch or you have the video to watch regarding Damian Domingo. But as a summary, uh, we have put here the qualifications of Damian Domingo. Okay. Uh, part of it is 
um, he founded the first art school in the Philippines, Escuela de Bujo e Pintura, in Tondo, Manila in 1821. And he became a professor and director of the Philippine Art Academy. The academy was closed after his death, producing Filipino artists trained in Western artistic tradition. Uh, bago ka matawag na renowned Filipino artist kasi you have to have good and uh, excellent qualifications. No? So these are the qualifications of Damian Domingo. And again, he is the father of the Philippine painting. You can watch the video for reference. Now these are uh, these are the obra maestra. No, the, these are uh, the masterpieces of Damian Domingo. He has tipos del pais or the watercolor of Filipinos in native costumes. Okay, so take a look at his masterpiece. Also, another renowned Filipino artist is Juan Luna, from 1857 to 1899. Um, Juan Luna is considered an academic westernized uh, Filipino painter. Okay? Sino nga ba si Juan Luna? Okay? Uh, Juan Luna has Bachelor of Arts degree in Ateneo Municipal de Manila and he enrolled in Academy of Fine Arts in Manila. He went to Europe in 1877 and studied in Escuela de Bellas Artes de San Fernando in Spain. Okay? And he won gold medal in Exposition Nacional de Bellas Artes in 1884 for Espoliarium. Okay? This is his famous uh, paint painting. Okay? And uh, si Kat si Juan Luna sa kanyang, uh, sa kanyang issue no, because he was arrested for murdering his wife and mother-in-law, but he was acquitted on the grounds of crime of passion. Okay, so pinatay niya yung kanyang asawa at yung kanyang mother-in-law. Okay, but was acquitted on the grounds of crime of passion. Uh, perhaps a celos, no, sa kaya nagawa niya yun. But again, um, he was acquitted. No, napawalang sala ang kanyang ang kanyang pag-aresto, ang kanyang uh, uh, pag-murder, no? pagpatay sa kanyang asawa at sa mother-in-law because of the crime of passion. Okay, so that is a one luna. Let's take a look at his uh, painting, Espoliarium, no? in 1884. Okay, so this is the painting of uh, Juan Luna and it won gold medal in Exposition Nacional in Spain. So the style of his painting is neoclassical. Okay, so take a look at his painting. Okay, um, I think this explains on the painting, ito yung kumbaga parang pinahihirapan tayo, no? This is the time of uh, Spaniards' colonization. And, it's, and it illustrates here kung paano pinahihirapan yung mga uh, Pilipino, tayo mga Pilipino na mga Kastila. Also, we have Felix Hidalgo, and his famous painting is Las Virginis Christiana. No? Las Virginis Christiana. And it won eight uh, silver medal in Exposition Nacional during 1884. Okay, uh, again, uh, this is the time, or this happened during um, Spaniards' colonization. Na kung saan, uh, ito mga Spaniards, no? Um, ginagahasa nila or nire-rape nila yung, yung mga kababaihan natin mga Pilipina. Okay? So, that's why it is Las Virgines Christiana. Okay? Uh, the virgins. Okay? The virgins. That's why on sabi ni Rizal no, sa kanyang speech, sabi niya, winning the exposition had proven that Filipinos were equal with the Spaniards. So that the Filipinos deserve the recognition of other people in the world with equal dignity and respect. Which is true. No? Which is true. Uh, kahit gaano man tayo inapay ng mga Spaniards, and yet, we deserve a recognition. No? We deserve a recognition of other people in the world with equal dignity and respect. Okay? That is the, re uh, that is the summary of Rizal's speech. Okay, this is the painting again of Juan Luna, España y 
Filipinas in 1886. Meaning, Spain and the Philippines. Okay? So, dito pinapakita, no? One positive way of looking at the Filipino identity in the arts is to see the Philippine art as integrated in the Western art. And these two traditions are uniting and harmonizing with one another. Okay? The Philippine art and the Western art. So, makikita mo dito, no? Uh, nagsama yung dalawang kababaihan. Yung isa ay uh, Spaniard, okay? Yung isa ay Spaniard or European. At yung isa ay nakasuot ng uh, costume na pang Pilipina. Okay? So, again, it says here, these two traditions are uniting and harmonizing with one another. So, Philippine art and Western art harmonizing with each other. Oh, we also have Tolentino. No? We also have Tolentino. At yung kanyang famous uh, obra is the Bonifacio Monument in 1933. Okay? So, I don't know if you have been there in, in the monument. No? Uh, but the style, of his, uh, the style of his art is neoclassicism. We also have uh, Amorsolo, Fernando Amorsolo. No? Um, the style of his heart, uh, the style of his heart is um, romantic realism. Okay, romantic realism, uh, Renaissance art, impressionism. Um, ito ipinapakita ni Amor Solo no sa planting rice. He entitled his painting as planting rice, but here ipinapakita niya yung uh, pagiging romantiko, no pagiging romantiko ng mga Pilipino sa pamamagitan ng pagtatanim. We also have Manansala. Manansala is famous on his transparent cubism. Okay? Um, kuha ito, no, or this is a uh, this is a scene, isang eksena sa isang market, no? Uh, that's why pinangalanan niya to. He entitled this painting as market scene. But take a look at their dress. Okay? Mga kababaihan. No? Um, yung kanilang kasuotan ay transparent and cube no transparent cubism that's why uh, the style of his painting is transparent cubism no yung kanilang damit no kanilang kasuotan ay ma transparent and at the same time uh, cube no para ma cube okay cubism that's why it is transparent cubism la marosa uh, the style of his painting is more on surrealism okay he entitled this painting ecology series in 1978 and say surrealism parang akala mo totoo no mukhang totoo yung uh, totoo yung painting okay surrealism Jose Hoya okay Jose Hoya is the Filipino action painter okay um Jose Hoya is more on uh, abstract abstract expressionism okay uh ito take a look para siyang uh, para siyang nagkakarate. No? That's why he entitled this painting Karate. Okay? Gus Albor, okay, um, yung kanya namang, sorry, uh, Gus Albor is more on the color field painting. Okay? He entitled this as Upward Duality. Now, we have examples of Filipino indigenous arts embedded in our culture. Let's take a look at this. Tinalak. Okay? Tinalak. Uh, Tinalak is famous in South Cotabato. Okay? Yung Tiboli art. Okay? Uh, I don't know, parang yung uh, nakaukit yan sa mga sa mga uh, malong. Okay? Sa mga malong, no? Tignan nyo, ang ganda ng pagkakaukit, no? Aso so, mga gawa niya yung mga Tiboli. No? These are uh, made by the Tiboli artist. Okay? Base, okay. Art of colorful mats, uh, mats from Summer Leyte, okay. Even yung mga banig, no, they have colorful arts. Pastillas, okay. Pastillas. Uh, this is the rapper art of Pampanga and Bulacan. Ah, ang ganda na pagka-design ng pastillas. Also, Vinta, no. We have the Bajau art in Mindanao, okay. The Sari Manok design. Okay, the Sari Manok design, which is also famous 
in Maranao by Maranao artist. Okir, okay, by Maranao art. Torogan by Maranao art also in Mindanao. The brassware art, okay, in Maranao. The burnai, the jars of Ilocos, okay. The pasiking, the Ifugao native backpack. The Lingling O, the art of the Cordillera group. And we have Bulol. This is the Igorot art. Okay. We have the colorful art of the Parol. Okay. These are lanterns made of capiz, capiz shells with twinkling light design. Um, yung uh, mga giant, no? Giant, um, uh, Parol uh, in uh, San Fernando, Pampanga. Diba? Sometimes nagkakaroon sila ng uh, festival. No? Festival. And yun, uh, nagkakaroon sila ng contest no? during festival. Because uh, the palakihan, no? palakihan ng uh, parol. Okay. Also, we have Pahiyas, the art of Lukban Quezon. Okay. We have the Taka Art of Paete, Laguna. Even the Jeepney, there is also an art. Okay. The Colorful Art of the Philippine Kalesa. Okay. And it's still existing no, in, in the monument. The Colorful Art of Tricycle Design. Okay. Siguro nilagyan lagyan ng mga ganyan, no? Mga art or colorful design para ma-attract yung mga passengers. We have the colorful Philippine ice cream cart. The Laji of the Ivatan is literature and music. Passion is also an art. So, it is considered as literature and pabasa is music. So, that is also an art. The Senacolo. Senacolo is considered as a theater art. Okay? During Holy Week. No, para sa mga Catholics. Okay. So, at this point, I want you to watch. I invite you to watch Dayao. Okay? This is a documentary on the Philippine indigenous culture, which is hosted by uh, Senator Loren Legarda. Okay? I invite you to watch Dayao. This is, Dayao is a Binisaya word, which means good valuable superior or beautiful okay so please watch dayao this is a beautiful documentary by senator lauren Ligarda. the principle of cultural identity does not mean that cultures cannot be criticized if all cultures on earth are to survive most of them have to change some of their beliefs and practices in order to become compatible with one another. Uh, that's according to Felipe, 2011. And again, uh, the Filipino identity and the Western identity should be or should have a relationship with each other. Okay? It has to be, it says here, the Philippine culture has to be dynamic in its uh, relation with other cultures in the world by harmonizing the Western and the Filipino concepts of art and its practice. Truly, a Philippine identity in the arts would emerge out of the shared culture, cultural universe, not only of our own people, but of the humanity as a whole. Okay, and now we will have a chapter activity. Now for your activity, you will have an individual activity Along the sidewalks or local shops, find a native Philippine product or work of art such as basket, bracelet, hat, rags, textile, sandals, or etc. Okay? Uh, for example, you are walking, okay? Or namamasyal ka, sa, namasyal ka minsan sa SM or sa Robinson or sa NCCC. Okay? Or kung saan mang local shops dyan. Tapos, nakakita ka ng Philippine product. Okay, Philippine product, okay, mga work of art such as basket, no, or mga bracelet. All you have to do is to make a documentation of the artifact. Okay, siguro pwede nyo picturean. 
Okay, just take a photo of it. And then, you answer the question, where did you buy it? Okay, but of course, uh, but of course, uh, you don't need, okay, you don't need to buy it. Okay, all you have to do is to make a doc, uh, all you have to do is to take a photo of it. Okay, and then, um, tanongin nyo kung magkano yun, or tignan nyo yung presyo kung magkano. And what is its local name? Okay, what is it made of? Okay, is it made up of wood? Is it made up of metal? So, how about the color, the size, or other information? Now, you have to write a one-paragraph essay answering the question, How does the product or artifact express the Filipino concept of art? Just one-paragraph essay. Then, use the paper provided for this activity. Okay, you will see the paper. Uh, you will see the paper provided and it's already posted on uh, the Google Classroom. Okay, the paper. Now, please be guided again by the rubrics for your activity one. Here are the rubrics. Okay, and then please be ready for your chapter test. Okay, that's all. Uh, that ends my presentation for this module. Thank you so much.